Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on how to optimize your NVIDIA driver. So this video will be only for NVIDIA card. I will probably do another one for AMD because they have like some their uh, own driver. Uh, it's a bit different. So I will show you what to do to make sure that you're getting the max performance on your NVIDIA card with your control panel. So first of all, let's make sure that you download the latest version of your NVIDIA uh, video card. A lot of people, sometimes I'm asking questions about like, yeah, do you have like the latest driver? And they don't even have the proper driver on their uh, computer. They just use the Windows one. So re really important, I will put this link in my uh, video description. Uh, so it's pretty easy, just select your project type. So normally people will have GeForce. And after that, you need to select which one. Uh, when you see notebook, normally it's the uh, laptop version. So for me, it's an RTX 2000 series, 2070. After that, your operating system, uh, majority of the people right now are using 64 bit. For sure, if you have a, a, an old computer, you will probably be uh, on something else, but like, just make sure that you have the 64 bit. Download the latest game ready driver and select your language, press search. And they will propose you which one you need to, to use. So this is the latest version. So you just press download and install it. Some people don't like to have uh, the uh, GeForce experience. So I will show you what is the GeForce experience. So this you not necessarily uh, need it. Uh, it, it gives you some optimization, uh, automatic optimization for some games. Honestly, it, it's kind of trash. I don't use it. Uh, but you have a nice overlay that you can use to record, take pictures, a uh, couple of features like that. And also they, they give you an alert when you need to update your driver, stuff like that. But if you don't like it, you feel like it's bloatware, you don't need to use it. The one that, that uh, we want to use right now, it's the control panel. So just right click in your uh, desktop, click control panel. It will open over there. So we will go first of all in manage 3D setting. Uh, the first thing that we will need to change is the low latency mode. So this one is kind of new. I think they released it like five or six months ago. Uh, don't go with ultra, it's causing some some issues sometimes on some screen. So uh, on is just perfect. You will reduce the latency on your monitor. So really important, it's a nice feature. AMD have the same. So uh, it's just, just activated. Uh, max frame rate. This one also, um, it's not like um, you don't need to lock your FPS, but I will ex explain you why. Sometimes like people don't have necessarily like a really like crazy gaming case with a lot of fan and stuff like that. And if you have, for example, a monitor with 60 Hertz and you just like uh, ask your frame, uh, your uh, video card to, to render like 100, 120 FPS, um, your, your video card is just working for nothing and it will create more heat and sometimes more heat in your case can cause like a little bit of throttle for your CPU and stuff like that. So just lock your FPS with you and the number of Hertz of your monitor. So for example, if you have a 60 Hertz monitor, put 60 over there, 144 Hertz, put 144 FPS. This is pretty much the way you should do it for max frame rate. After that, press OK. The other one that uh, you can change is the power management mode. I recommend to use the prefer maximum performance. So you don't want to optimal power. Optimal power honestly is fine. It's not like uh, I see a big difference when I bench optimal power versus prefer maximum performance. But if you don't care about your electricity, just go with the best one. <laughs> After that, so this is pretty much all the other spec. By default, you should see this and just don't touch it. If you see some stuff that are different, just press restore and just redo the guide that I just uh, told you. Now the resolution. A lot of people uh, buy like new gaming monitor 144 Hertz and they don't change it here and they think they're using 144, but they're using 60. So really important, first of all, just choose your resolution over there so if you have like a 2k monitor you should see 2k over there uh for me it's 1080p and this is the refresh rate take the biggest one on your computer so for, for me it's 144 if you bought like a crazy gaming monitor and you thought you were using 165 and you see 60 here it's because you're playing at 60 hertz so really important to change your refresh rate one last thing the digital vibrance 
It's not something that will give you more performance or FPS and stuff like that, but I like to boost a little bit my digital vibrance. Uh, by default, it's at 50. It will help you with gray game like Escape from Tarkov on Showdown uh, because uh, the color now will be a more like flashy and you see, uh, I, th I think you're seeing like better your enemy when you're playing video games. I don't go too crazy with this one. For sure you can go higher, but it's pain in the ass after that if you just want to watch a video on your computer or just like be on Windows. Uh, I don't like my color to be too flashy, but I feel like a 5% over there, uh, it's a good gain when you're playing competitive game and you see a little bit better in your game. Uh, one last thing, when you did the, the uh, update for the latest Nvidia driver, really important to do it first of all because uh, when they release new game, normally they release a patch and you're getting like some boost in the FPS for the new AAA game. So really important to do it. But also, if you did the the latest version of Windows, uh, the, the version 2004, you will have a new feature called graphic settings. So just write GPU over there, open the graphic setting, and make sure that you activate the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Put this one at on and reset your computer. Um, it will help you a lot with your video memory. And honestly, if you have like an high-end computer, you will not see a big increase, like one to 2% in your FPS. But uh, if you have an old computer, sometimes on my laptop, I can't, uh, like for example, on Fortnite, I'm getting 4% of increase when I use that. Uh, so yeah, it's a really good uh, new feature that you can activate on the new version of Windows. So guys, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, uh, whatever question that you have uh, about like whatever Windows or Nvidia control panel, and I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.